vote is prompting lots of discussion among Republican presidential candidates. That's the case for veteran Congressman Ron Paul, who made it stop in the Quad Cities today. News 8's John David was at today's event in Davenport. As the full house packs Davenport's Redstone Room, it's clear the debt deal doesn't please everybody. There's no path to paying off the debt. You know, be, uh, it'd be preferable if we had a conservative president and Republicans controlled the Senate. Then we could really make serious cutbacks. That's true for Congressman Ron Paul. The Texas Republican is making a third run for president. He says the congressional compromise won't solve spending problems. It will just add to the deficit. I think August 2nd was artificial. Uh, I didn't think for a minute that in our country will not stop sending the checks out. Uh, they will happen. The 75-year-old doctor is back on the stump in Iowa. His message of less government and more freedom resonates with many in the audience. I think he's really honest and he really wants to help the people. I think he's a real person. He's out there to t uh, try to help the average person. Ron Paul says that the message of liberty is the message of America, a grassroots approach that could be very important for the upcoming Iowa straw poll on August 13th. Hello there. Nice to meet you. Supporters line up for photos and autographs, many agreeing on the big question, deciding the role of government. Ron Paul sending a message with his no vote on the debt ceiling. It might have called the attention to all the politicians and all the people in this country that we have to change our ways. For Ron Paul, less is more. Reporting in Davenport, John David, WQAD News 8. Thank you, John. Ron Paul also made a stop in Iowa City this morning. The Iowa straw poll takes place in Ames on August 13th.